let's build a chicken coop and have a little family time while we're at it. I'm gonna start with the framing. I took some two by fours and ripped them down to two by two. Now you could skip this step and just buy some two by twos if you wanted. And then I'll cut all the pieces to length. Measure for the different interior parts. Just make sure the measurements are the same on both sides. Each of the four sides of the chicken coop are framed just a little bit differently. You can go to my website, simplyeasydiy.com. There, I'll have all the different measurements along with a cut list for you. There is the front frame. One of the side frames. The other side frame, this one gets the nest boxes attached to it. And finally, the back frame. I'm installing a door on this one, so I'll just take a moment and make sure the opening is square. Father Sun Time. I'm driving the screws from the inside of the coop. That way I can access them later if need be after I attach the side slats later on. This is as far as I'm going with the building process here in the shop. It's time to go to the backyard and prepare the site. I have an existing coop that I built at the old house. If you haven't seen that project video yet, here's a link for you. You can also check the description. Our flock has outgrown that one, so it's out with the old and in with the new. When I built this chicken run, we had five birds. That left us with about 13 square feet per bird. We picked up a couple of extra birds a few weeks back when I went to the local farm store, and they just happened to have a couple of birds that I wanted for sale. That brought us up to seven. However, that drops our F to about nine. I don't like to go below about 12 square feet. I find you start having issues with the bio load if you drop below that. So I'm gonna extend the run out so that I have about 14 FPB. When we first moved into this new house, the previous owners had used rocks for various things around the yard, and it has been forever picking these things up. I've just been tossing them behind the shed up to this point, and I figure I'll put them to good use by using them in this project. I'm gonna have to do some fine tuning, see what rocks will work, which ones won't, but I think they'll make a pretty good foundation. Plus, since the floor of the chicken coop is only gonna be mother earth and some pine shavings, the rocks will keep the chickens from digging out the ground around the edges. Oh, and I'm repurposing. That's always a good thing. Now that that is settled, let's attach the nest boxes. I've decided to install them on the inside and they'll just hang on these two scrap pieces of two by two I'll install for ledges. What's that you say? How'd I build those? Like this?
A 1x4 in the front keeps the nesting material where it belongs, inside the boxes. Let's add the walls. Once the walls are on, it's back to the shop for the door to the nest boxes. Some 2x2s and 1x4s glued and screwed. Simple and easy. Where have I heard that before? To install the door, just set some spacers first. Then set the door on the spacers. All right, I think we're ready for the roof. Everybody knows how to cut a bird's mouth in a truss, right? Nah, don't worry about it. I'll have all this listed on my website, simplyeasydiy.com. Check the description. Measure up to where I want the bird's mouth to start. Mark a 45 degree angle. Flip it around. Mark another 45. Then have at it with a jigsaw, maybe a handsaw, or you can just stare at it intently. Although I'm not quite sure that last one's going to get much done. Then you can rinse and repeat. Once you get the notches cut on the first one, you can use that as a template for the second. This top piece here, that should sit nice and flush with the two trusses. Continue up the sides with the side slats. I'll put half the roof on now, and then I'll take care of a few things that need to be done inside the coop before finishing that up. I live in Florida, that means ventilation is very important inside of a coop. A piece of hardware cloth packed to the inside will keep all the critters out that may be looking for a free meal. A jigsaw leaves a rough edge, so I'll smooth that out a little bit. Chickens love to roost, and I can give them some space for that by placing a few pieces of lumber at different angles. Now, the best thing to do here is to find an actual tree branch that's about an inch or an inch and a half thick. Stick a couple of those in there for them. I don't have anything that fits that description, so I'm using some one by twos. I ran these through my router table with a round over bit, and that takes off the square edges. And then I just roughed up the boards a little bit, and that makes it easier for them to grab onto. A clamp takes care of any spaces between the slats, and then you can always come back with a waterproof caulk if needed. Time to keep our chickens safe. I'll dig a trench to a couple of inches, and it doesn't have to be that deep because the best thing to do that I have found 
is to go down a couple of inches and then bring the chicken wire out about 10 to 12. I'll continue that all the way around the coop. Time to bring this home by attaching the rails for the front door. Because I decided to put the nest boxes on the inside of the coop, I had to move the doors over to one side, which presented me with a problem when I was installing this front door. I'll talk about that more on the blog post. Check the description for the link. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Check me out on Facebook and Pinterest. If you like this video, here's a couple more you'll like as well. Until then.